We started a clock around 1953, which is when we had the explosion at Bikini, the, the first hydrogen bomb, and when we figured out the double helix. And I call this the twin nuclei problem. We do not have the wisdom to be able to fuse nuclei. We don't have the wisdom to be able to investigate the cell. It's too much power. So our wisdom may have increased slightly, maybe it didn't, I don't know, but our power is now godlike. To be able to create something that normally happens in the sun on an island in the Pacific, or to be able to rewrite a cell the way Craig Venter did, you know, a synthetic biology. We are now gods, but for the wisdom. The world's most serious human beings should be working on the twin nuclei problem. What do we do with new godlike powers given our history of conflict, our history of envy, our history of madness? Right, because we succumb regularly. We are, you know, I was born 20 years after the end of World War II, and we all know what really happened there. I mean, we're nuts. We're absolutely not capable of this level of responsibility. So, what is the answer? Well, the first place that you have to get to is we're really deeply screwed, and not because of apocalyptic cult like reasons, just because of science, just because of 1953. But if human beings are to continue, we are to continue evolving, we need to spread out. And there are three rocks that are inhabitable. There's the Earth, there's the Moon, and there's Mars. And the Moon has nothing, nothing there. Mars is pretty uninteresting, to be blunt. I know that it's beautiful to be sent back these pictures. And we've got this one gorgeous planet that we are clearly not smart enough to steward. It's like We're still having idiotic climate change debates. None of these answers are good. But it seems to be that when we figure out what goes beyond Einstein's theory, the underlying source code gives us opportunities that we don't normally have. So, seven years ago I tried giving these lectures at Oxford, and I released this theory of geometric unity on our YouTube channel. My belief now is that we have to talk about a thousand-year solution to human life. And this is it. Physics and biology led us into the valley of death. And it's now time to try to get out.